Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Tuesday, day 86, and I got something pretty, uh, pretty, pretty uh, interesting to share with you today. It just happened a few minutes ago, man, and I, uh, uh, um, it's, it's uh, Tuesday morning, and I thought, man, uh, when those things happen, you get goosebumps, you know, what I'm about to describe to you, and the hair stands up on the back of your neck. Um, so, uh, I, I, I run a lot of franchise sales teams. I've been in the world of franchise uh, sales and executive leadership for probably 15 years, something I'm really passionate about. And I have several different brands that I represent uh, throughout the country. So that's why I travel quite a bit. Um, so I have appointments throughout the day, Zoom calls, and I'm just kind of moving people through the process and helping my teams move their people through the process to get them to the finish line, which is ultimately having them sign a franchise agreement and become franchise owners. There is a process for it. And this morning I have a Zoom call scheduled with a young man and his family. And the mother just sent me an email saying, um, Kim, we're not gonna be able to make the Zoom call. My husband has a blocked artery and we're rushing him to the hospital. Um, and if you knew how many people in the past year that I've had encounters with that I'm moving through that process that had that have had to drop out because of significant illnesses. I'm not talking about the common cold or a stub toe. I'm talking about hospitalization, tumors, cancer, very, very serious illnesses. I've never seen anything like it. The people I work with keep asking me, what are you saying to these people? What are you doing? This is just unheard of. And today, I, when I got that email, the first thing I did, of course, was I just said a quick prayer in my head. I don't know when you were younger, if you saw ambulances driving through town, sirens wailing. I always used to say a quick prayer in my head, and I still do it today, especially for homeless people and people that are just looking like they're in time of need. I believe prayer moves, mount, moves mountains, and uh, it's just a quick prayer that I say in my head. Well, this morning when I got the news that this family couldn't make the Zoom call, I'm thinking, man, what, what, what? Well, I, to be honest with you, after I said the prayer, I was a little greedy. I, I just said to myself, why am I getting all these leads? Why, why the, what's going on? The minute I said that, I hear in my head these words, because I know you'll pray for them. Wow. Oh my God. Just now saying it, I, I just, um, it just sent a shiver up my spine. And you know, um, he's right. Uh, I say a prayer and my prayers kind of, um, I've expanded on it a little bit. And I wanted to share it with you real quick because I hope that maybe if you have somebody you could pray for, or maybe somebody's been put in your path that could use a prayer, maybe you could steal it from me or add to it if you'd like, or ad lib. But I developed the prayer over years because this is what deep down I've never shared with anybody. When I was going through some tough times, I was hoping that people were praying for me. And this is what I wanted them to pray for me, even though I never told them. And it was this. I just basically say, uh, Lord, you know, I just ask you to heal uh, John Doe or Jane Doe. Um, Lord, I know that you made their body and you can heal their body just by speaking the word from your throne. The simple words of you're healed, you're blessed, you're favored, you're redeemed is all that I'm asking for. Say it from where you're at and I know they'll be healed. Surround them with their, uh, surround them with their angels keep, and keep them and their families safe and out of harm's way while you restore their health. In Jesus' name, amen. That's what I say. It's pretty simple. Um, and so I continue that journey. And you know what's interesting? That selfish part of me that said earlier, why, why do I keep getting these, these folks that are falling ill through the process? And then I heard the words, because I know you'll pray for them. That's an aha moment for me. Um, but at the same time, the other day you heard me say when I came back from Vegas, actually, I think it was yesterday, how blessed I am with all these wonderful people I get to work with. Um, enjoying more income and blessings and favor and um, than I've ever seen in my lifetime. So on one hand, I'm being presented with people that need prayer for healing. And on the other hand, I'm being blessed on the back end for doing it. <laughs> um, and I'm not doing it for the blessing. It's just the way 
the man upstairs works, I suppose. So I'm grateful that I can pray for these people, pray for you for healing, restoration, and health. And um, uh, I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. I just wanted to share it with you since it was top of mind. Be brave, be strong, go get what's yours.